good night at UConn. Head coach Randy Edsel. Huskies are 2-8 and eight overall, 0-6 oh in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, UConn was in action this past Saturday at Cincinnati. Cincinnati won the game 48-3. to three. Uh, Huskies are idle this week as well. Their next game will be on November 23rd against Carolina. Uh, coach, thank you as always for joining us on the call. We just get your uh, thoughts on the game at Cincinnati and your plans for the open week as you get ready to face uh, the Pirates on the 23rd, please. Well, <clears throat> Cincinnati is, a, is an outstanding football team and, you know, we're very deserving of their um, – uh, number 20 ranking in the in the um, playoff system, um, but uh, you know again, it's kind of the same story for us is um, you know we go out there we do some things well and then uh, we're just you know aren't playing consistent enough you know uh, to, to sustain things. But uh, I thought Kevin Mensa had a really good game, rushed the ball. I thought we ran the ball pretty well against a very tough defense. Uh, Kevin had over 100 yards. Art Tompkins had a good day there. And, um, you know, the thing that's hurt us the most defensively is just we're giving up uh, too many big plays. And um, once we, you know, take care of that, we'll be a lot better. I thought Luke Magliozzi punted the ball well um, all day long. So, again, we're going to take this week and get away from football and um, not practice at all. We've had a tough stretch. You know, we played two and then had a week, and then we had to play eight. So our kids have been at it since July 30th and, you know, with that one week off. And uh, so, again, I think it's just best for them. And plus, you know, we have two games after this ECU and then Temple and then a week and then we're in the finals. So I think it's just best to let our kids um, kind of be away from football, get caught up on some academic stuff and recharge their batteries and get their bodies healed and and be ready to go for uh, ECU and uh, Temple. Let's take questions for Coach Randy Edsel, please. Star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue. First question comes from Dan Tortora from wakeupcalldt.com. Please go ahead. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Good morning. Uh, you mentioned Kevin Mensa, and I wanted to ask you about, obviously, what he's been doing and, and his progression throughout his time there. I think he has 918 rushing yards at this point, just 82 away from being a 1,000-yard back this season. Just what you could say about, you know, what he's done and maybe, you know, a, a second part to that question, the offensive line as well, obviously, to help him get there. Well, you know, first of all, I think the biggest thing with Kevin is he comes he comes every day and wants to get better. You know, he has a mentality that uh, he's got to push himself and do everything he possibly can to be the best he can uh, each and every day. And um, he, he takes coaching. um He's very prideful, um, and and again, it's one of those things where you love his approach to the game and you love his approach to practice, and you know that's the reason why he rushed for over a thousand yards last year, and and then um, you know could probably get it again this year. But you know, again, and I think our offensive line has done a good job in terms of um, uh, being able to run the ball. You know, there's some things that we can still do better, but again, any. Any back that's going to rush for, you know, those kind of yards, you know, the offensive line has to be doing some good things there. And um, we just need to make sure we just got to be a little bit more consistent. And I think he would even have uh, more production. And then uh, as far as your quarterbacks, I know that uh, three guys have seen action this this season. Just what you've taken away from your signal callers up to this point as you come to that last portion of the season. Well, you know, we've uh, we started out with Michael Beaudry, and he ended up getting hurt. And then we went to uh, Jack, and Jack came in and had had his moments and has done some good things. And you know, Jack's just got to be himself. Um, you know, he's just got to stick within himself and his framework and execute the fundamentals and the techniques of the position and and take what's given to him. I mean, again, he comes. He you know, it's his first time playing United States rules football. Uh, he was a Canadian kid who played the Canadian rules where you get three down. So, again, a lot of times there you're chucking it around and, you know, you don't run the ball. And there's times when he has the ability to run the ball and he sits there and he, you know, is going to throw it instead of just taking off and running with it. So, you know, there's an acclimation process, um, you know, with him. And Stephen Krajewski came in and did a nice job uh, when he was called upon in uh, Central Florida. But, you know, he broke his clavicle. And, you um, Hopefully, you know, we might be able to get him uh, for some of the, these last two games. We'll find out here after this week's over, but uh, he might be back. But, you know, we just, 
you know, each of them have done some good things when they've been in there, but it's just the uh, the lack of consistency that you need, uh, play in, play out, quarter in, quarter out, game in, game out, and that's what we're striving to do is just get them all more consistent when their opportunities uh, are out there on the field for them. Well, thank you, Coach, and good luck as always. All righty, thank you. Any other questions for Coach Randy Edsel, please? Star one on your keypad, if so. Well, Coach, appreciate it. As always, look forward to talking to you once again next Monday. All right, Chuck. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. Coach Randy Edsel from UConn. Again, the Huskies are idle this week. Next game will be on the 23rd of November against ECU.